probably can't tell what I'm seeing. Here we go. Okay, so this is the mamas. And the, the purpose of this video was to explain what I do in the winter. It's really cold. This is the first winter I've decided to do this, but I'm not going to use wet wipes on their udders. It is too cold out here. And by getting the wet wipe out, it starts to get cold. I mean, imagine your own chest. If you were on this kind of weather and somebody took a cold piece of cloth and rubbed it across your chest, how good would you be wanting to cooperate in that situation? So this year, for the last three days when it's been cold, I have just been rubbing off their udders with my warm hand to get any loose hairs and stuff down. And then, of course, I still squirt some milk onto the ground. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that, but I have a hook that I put the milk bucket on until I'm ready to milk. And that way I don't have cats getting into it. So at this point, I move really fast. I put my gloves over. I, I do this rubbing down, not with the milk bucket under, of course, because then everything would go into the milk bucket. Of my two milkers, Cloud is my newer milker. Um, she's the same age, but she just hasn't. Um, I just haven't milked her. Well, let's see. She's not as um, friendly as chamomile, and chamomile has had babies before. Where Cloud, this was her first batch. So you see I'm rubbing down her teeth, getting all the hair off, but I'm not going to use a wet wipe on her. Just doesn't seem right. And chamomile doesn't mind if I talk. She's just a friendlier goat anyway. When it squirts out like that and goes out in a plume instead of in a straight, it means she's got hair at the bottom that isn't laying right. If they ever get antsy like Cloud did, you just have to stick with it. You can't let them win. It's like a horse or a dog. Once they see that they can do what they want to do around you, they will. And they'll just keep pushing it until they're walking all over you. It's not terribly cold today. It's cold enough that the inside of my nose hurts a little bit. But... Um, Having this shelter is really nice. I have cats. If you have cats, you have got to teach them not to get in the milk. I have football kicked a couple because sometimes my back is turned and if a cat gets into your milk, you shouldn't use it. Now that football kick was after I had warned them and warned them and hissed at them and told them to leave it alone. But I have some kittens who just thought that they needed to get into anything that I put down. And so whenever they come up and get all curious, and that and the goats hate them. The goats hate to have the cats around. Because sometimes when the cats are feeling friendly, they'll like get their claws out and try to ride on the goat's back and stuff. 
They're just cats. They're mischievous. But the goats don't like them. And they especially don't like to have them around when I'm milking. So we have to teach our cats early on. to stay out of the way. And especially this time of year, make sure to get every last drop of that milk. So she's done. And we have three quarters of a gallon is about what we get every day. The chickens are in here because they like it because it's warmer. And these are my new pullets that are laying well. So, um, let's see. I don't know what you can see. There's the chickies and the cat. Hey, we did get a foot of snow over the last three days babies. Um, the snow keeps falling into the heated water, so it's having a hard time staying ahead of it, but anyway, this is cloud and this is chamomile. And I'm just giving them barley is what they're eating right now.